Tyler here with GP Knives, and today I have a Hinder XM18 3.5 inch flipper. And what we're going to do today is we are going to go through the process of installing the newly released HMBS, that's the Hinder Modular Backspacer System. And first of all, we are going to get all of our equipment together. So laid out before you, I've got all the equipment we're going to need. We've got the Hinderer XM18, a microfiber cloth. We've got the HMBS here with all the hardware, the backspacer, and the Allen key for the set screw. We've got a Hinderer Armors toolkit. The Hinderer Armors toolkit is important because it has the spanner and flathead bit that are required to disassemble the pivot, as well as an Allen wrench on the inside that is going to be needed to remove the standard screws for the backspacers. Also necessary is going to be a Torx bit driver with a T6. Okay, now I have all of my equipment laid out, all the parts laid out, so we're going to start with disassembling the pivot. We're going to take the flat bit here on this side of the scale and we're going to take the spanner bit on the other side of the scale. So we've got the knife basically fully disassembled here and then what we're going to do is we are going to take these backspacers from the modular backspacer system. Now you'll notice that there is one thicker one that's going to be the forward backspacer and the thinner sided ones are going to be the reverse backspacer systems and the thinner ones are going to be marked with B and C on the instruction sheet and those are the ones that the backspacer is actually going to fit into. So we've got those hooked up here and then what we're going to do is holding those together with the scale we're going to take these other screws from the system and we're going to install those with the T6 bit. Okay, so now we have those backspacers installed and what we're going to do is simply reverse the process here. We're going to put the liner back on and line that up with the stop pin, the pivot, and these three backspacers and snap that together like so. And then we're going to also put the scale back on and then I'm going to start with this center backspacer and install that bolt. And remember, you can just do hand tightness on these and you can always go back and adjust the pivot and adjust the tension on the screws for the backspacer as well. Okay, so now we have the knife fully reassembled and then installing the modular backspacer system is actually very simple. It's got two little hooks that simply slide right into place on those two barrel spacers in the back. You take the included wrench and insert that into the set screw and just hand tighten that down. And then we've got our modular backspacer system installed. And while disassembling this to return it to its standard configuration, 
I decided it might be a good opportunity to give you a shot of what it looks like from the inside. So you can see here the backspacer is still installed. You can see the set screw there. And here you can see, so these are the thinner of the barrel spacers, the set screw holding it in there. And then here is the thicker front barrel spacer as well. Again, that was the tutorial for the Hinderer XM18 Modular Backspacer System. You can see that installed here. This has been Tyler with GP Knives. Thanks for watching and stay sharp.